Hello, welcome to Bubble Butt. I'm uh, Major Laser. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, Eric Wareheim. <laughs> and this That's, is Splatoon. Yeah, finally playing this again. We've been waiting a while to play this because uh, we've been suffering through Billy Hatcher. And we're really <laughs> excited to be playing this again because yeah. we haven't for quite a while. Now, um... One thing I feel like we totally grazed over and didn't uh, take a big opportunity to look at in earlier episodes of this uh, series was that uh, for you know for anybody out there, for for all of our viewers out there who don't know what a Wii U is, um, because oh, this is a Wii U game. Suck. For anyone who who's not really sure of like what a what a Wii U gamepad is, um, could you explain what that is as well as explain how uh, well, the game mechanics work with the gamepad? I wish I wasn't doing so well. A bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Of course. Well, I mean, what do you mean? Like, what do you want to know about the mechanics, or what do you think I should explain about the mechanics? Well, ex explain what the the game pad is, just for anybody who doesn't know what it is, uh -huh. and um, and explain how it works in tandem with this game. Well, it's well, it's basically a standard controller. It's kind of like a Sega Game Gear in size and and shape. And so, in that way, it, it really feels like you're just holding, like, a giant pad controller, which is what you're doing. Uh, but there's motion trackers in it, just like in the Wii Boats, and it kind of follows... Uh, I'm actually moving the camera by uh, turning the Wii Boat, like, to different angles, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, that's about it. It's got control sticks, it's got four buttons, I mean, I'm, I'm sure people have seen a Wii U gamepad. Most of the people watching this are probably people that have the game. Yeah, I, I would oh assume so. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Oh, come on, you can totally make this. Oh, uh -oh. oh teach these little octa... Oh, God. T teach them. Why is it so hard? hard? This game is actually really challenging, too. Really happy with it. I just saw a picture, uh... We're probably gonna post it on the Facebook, where it was like Splatoon is advertised to seven-year-olds but played by adults, and Call of Duty is played or er, advertised to adults and played by seven-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's just a stereotype, but I mean, that <laughs> you could observe it. Yeah, observe it however you'd like. Oh, but uh, what was your question about? Oh, look at the street over there. Oh, look at that. What was your question? You said you were gonna ask me something about game mechanics. Well, yeah, uh, exactly. How does the I I, I kind of asked it with the last question, which is exactly how does the gamepad work in tandem oh. with the well? Besides the just console. being a standard controller, it, it's got the motion tracker thing in the back or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad we covered that. <laughs> Thought it would like take a lot more to explain. <laughs> nope, you totally did it. Um. Oh man, I uh, watched Nick. Oh, you'll also notice I'm, I'm not sucking as badly as I was before, so that's good. <laughs> uh, I was watching Nick play uh, Battlefield Hardline today, and um, it oh. looks it looks like a really fun game. But the fact of the matter is that I've only ever seen him like play on one map, so it makes me wonder if there are, if there are more maps, or. Or what's going on there? There's a lot more maps. Dude, I just totally snuck up on that guy. Because they're huge him. maps. Like, it, it it would make sense, like, if they had it maybe be, like, one sandbox that had multiple areas in it that acted as different different maps. But Wait, I don't get what you mean by that. Usually the Conquest games, which is the game type, have, like, really huge maps. <laughs> or Surprise! It, it makes sniping a whole lot of fun. I see. And sniping is pretty tough in that game because there's actually bullet drop, and then you can always. Uh, can you 360 no scope? No. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to. <laughs> Gosh, this game is so cool. Um, oh, no. Now you said it's a lot more fun to watch probably now that I'm not uh, doing super terrible. Now you said that one of your friends is playing this game, and uh, and what what exactly was it that he had to say about it? Oh, he. Oh, he just said that the story got deep. Which is interesting because, uh, like, right off the bat, this game seems to, like, not take itself too seriously, 
but like it's really cool and like yeah. easy to get into. Yeah, absolutely. And it's got like a, a, at least so far, it's got like a basic enough story to to be able to just drop right into. <laughs> Octopus are uh, taking over. Octopi. Octopi are taking Octarians. over. Octarians. Yeah, what, what are they called? Uh, what, what are the octopus guys called? Octarians? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh. That's what the, <laughs> that's what uh, Captain Cuttlefish calls them at the beginning of the game. Oh, wow. You're paying more attention to the story than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of shooting things with paint, ink, launch pad. Just kind of going around having fun. Yeah. You know, th I'm pretty sure the way that you're playing through this is exactly how I played through Gears of War. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I didn't really, I wasn't really sure what the story was, but I was having fun chainsawing, like, locusts and, like, shooting at them. Oh, crap. That was, that was a fail. <laughs> that was a failure on my part. Oh, man, I, I really want to play Battlefront 2. Remember that game? Yeah, Star Wars Battlefront is just an amazing series, and I'm happy that they're doing a new one. I know, it looks pretty cool. And space battles? No space battles? Um, according to some online sources, but, um... That, that's all just speculation. <laughs> I, I, like, freaked out and became a squid because I thought I was going to fall. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. We are progressing. I don't know how much I have left. I feel like look. I'm... Oh, goodness. I feel like I'm really nasally right now. I've, re I've been nasally this whole week because of... Uh, but, uh, by the way, viewers, uh, I... Kind of, I guess I kind of sound like congested sometimes. Do I sound congested? Actually? Yes. Yeah, like all the time. Not all the time. Oh, okay. I've had people tell me like, yeah, you're like you sound like you're congested like all the time. I just sound like I'm really congested right now because I uh, have been like sick for this whole thing, but been having a lot of fun doing it. It's Billy Hatcher's fault. It's Billy Hatcher. Yeah, really. Billy Hatcher yeah. is such a stressful game to have to play. Wait, I need more zapfish. Okay. Yeah, you don't have enough zap fish. Yeah, well, where do I where do I get another one? Wish it would tell me. Stupid game sucks. <laughs> oh hey, yo. Entrances to the Octarian. Okay. Anyways, um, <clears throat> what was, I was gonna I wanted to talk about Star Wars a couple episodes ago, but oh, the Phantom Menace. Yeah. Well, r real quick, actually, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I totally forgot to say this in the last episode of uh, Billy Hatcher that we were playing. Just as a disclaimer, uh, there, wait, no, I'm done that level. Disclaimer, um, in a episode of the Billy Hatcher playthrough, we were talking about Bruce Jenner, and we said, we spoke our mind on it, but it seemed like we were very insensitive when saying some things. So just to clarify, uh, Laverne Cox is a transsexual woman who is in entertainment and I absolutely respect her and love what she does you know as 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 what she is uh, she she does a great job representing her community I mean, and and it, especially since uh, the the T in uh, in LGBT <clears throat> I feel anyway is is all too silent right right yeah oh totally um, but yeah so like just as a uh, disclaimer, when we were talking about Bruce Jenner, uh, Caitlyn Jenner now, we, we weren't hating on any sort of transgenderedness. It was just that we weren't really respecting the whole idea of using everything as a publicity stunt. But, uh, but yeah. S still, I mean, it's all his business. Her business. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. On that note, uh, now that we're done talking about trannies, let's talk about Star Wars. Star Wars is sorry. Uh, is that an offensive word? I, I think it is. Um, actually, uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people are are gonna find that really offensive. Oh shit! Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a word though. Don't worry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's okay. It, it, I don't I mean, study you, my PC. You weren't. Yeah, you weren't really sure. So, I guess that didn't. That <laughs> I guess it means that I didn't get the zapfish if it doesn't show a zapfish on it. No, you haven't played this yet. I have. I've totally done this one. This is the one with the invisible walkways. I don't I'm remember again. you doing this. We did it like. Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. I think this is. I think this is a different version, or like like another another level with that same dynamic. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Ah, stop. Because I don't remember you having to fight like the. 
the little octo girls. Yeah. Octo <laughs> Stupid curly haired octopus girls. They do have curly hair. Curly tentacle hair. They look very 60s. I really wonder what it was like uh, for, ah! for Medusa <laughs> being a woman with snakes for hair. And, and why the snakes were, uh, why were the snakes even a, a thing to talk about? Ask, Besides the I don't know. they're snakes. Ask my grandma. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you made your you grandma, your grandma son? is Medusa? Are you oh, yeah. She's best friends with Medusa. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. Because of all the stone children he's got outside of his, his, uh, house. His house? Yeah. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Okay, there's a way to get down here. It's actually all frozen carbonite. There's a way to get down there. You see what I mean, right? Yeah. I wonder how I do that. How do I do? Well, it, it would appear there's another ledge. There's got to be, like, a secret. I like that you can actually visibly oh. see the tank get empty. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That is cool. I said I know, but I didn't even notice it until you said it. So. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, totally. Oh nice. yeah, that is a, such a great thing to have. <laughs> Noticed it way before you, bud. <laughs> I don't even think you know. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. Uh huh. What? No, I've definitely played this level. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, okay. I remember that. Now. Look at okay, this. I guess you didn't get the zapfish then. I guess not. Well, that's okay. I, I I enjoy killing these guys. They're fun to like just, watch you murder. They're very satisfying, just like a big satisfying explosion with paint all over the place. And that's that's and another paint thing. Paint of your color, nonetheless. That's another thing. Um, that that's one of the the elements that makes like Destiny fun, uh, despite how like repetitive it is. I, I know you've got a problem with how repetitive Destiny is. Yeah, yeah. But like the the enemies are really satisfying to kill, especially if you like hit them in the the like right spots. It's just it's it's a lot of fun. Get get out of here. And it's also really good about like sending a lot of enemies at you at once, which is fun because of how challenging and scary it is. Uh huh. No, totally. I I I don't hate Destiny. It's just that that kind of like got to me. Like I thought it was gonna be like this epic like long campaign game. When I heard it was online, I was kind of like, how does the campaign work? But I, I guess I, that's kind of ignorant of me because. I played games like Maple Story and World of Warcraft. Yeah, and, and Destiny is kind of like those games in and of, you know, in, in like a, a certain sense. But um, it, it brings that kind of that kind of like dynamic to a, a console setting. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and it like which is pretty cool. I've always really liked online games. I, yeah, I remember just making so many cool friends online. Exactly, like, <laughs> and I mean like. Uh, you know, leave it to Bungie to make a, a really fun experience that is... Did you ever play MapleStory? Um, I did briefly, but I don't know. I don't have fun with a lot of role-playing games for some reason. Like, huh. I, like I really enjoy my my stories linear for the most part, but, like, there's a really adventurous part of me that likes, oh, like, open world, and, open world and sandbox games, so... Ah! I guess that's really where my, my interest of games like, like Borderlands and, uh... And Destiny comes from. Borderlands is so fun. We should play that. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, uh, that was something I, I uh, had wanted to do uh, do uh, with uh, with Sam. Oh, yeah? Yeah, was play through the uh, the Borderlands games. Maybe I died here, because this kind of seems like a spot I would die on. There we go. Could you get that zapper fish? Gosh, I really love the environment in this game. It kind of reminds me of Bitrunner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's another game we need to play. Wait, I think I have a new bomb. Yeah. It, like, explodes right when it touches the surface of something. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I've been practicing playing some uh, Splatoon behind the scenes. I totally got the zapper fish. Where did I not get a zapper fish? Well, I anyways, know. with that, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, we will definitely talk about every single episode of Star Wars, starting with episode... Uh, Four? Four. Do you want to do them in... in, uh, in starting starting with the fan fictions. <laughs> the <laughs> okay. canon fan fictions. Goodbye.